fifth major brass instrument factory in the country is in East Lake. You hear the instruments they make at halftime during college games. But today we heard quite a different tune. ONN's Kristen Severance has more from the picket line where hundreds of workers are on strike. More than 250 Con Selmer workers are on strike in East Lake, some of them willing to do almost anything to get their point across. <laughs> Sammy Rodriguez stands stubbornly on Curtis Boulevard in East Lake. You get him pay, I need to get paid. The father of six blocks a truck carrying supplies from getting into the plant where he's worked for 13 years. Because I got kids, I gotta feed my kids. Who's gonna feed my kids for me? Nobody. That's the only reason I'm standing here. How long will he stay? Until he leaves or the police come. Turns out to be the latter as officers are called and Rodriguez moves. We got to do what we got to do for our family and our lives. Rodriguez is one of 240 Con Selmer workers on strike. And if you live in Ohio, you've probably heard their work. The factory makes brass instruments used by bands all over the world, including the Ohio State University Marching Band, like the sousaphone the guy is holding when he dots the I in Ohio. I gather my kids around the Ohio State game, and uh, whenever the guy goes to dot the I, I said, we made that horn. And I, we made that horn. Making those instruments is on hold for now after negotiations between the union and the company stalled. It's forcing the inevitable of why we're here today. Shop steward Bob Matta says the company wants to cut some workers' pay by 65%, take away pension, and double health care. So they're out here until an agreement is reached. We know it's not the best economy. We know that it's crazy to be out here. But at some point, you got to say, you got to draw a line and say, you know what, you got to stand for something or fall for anything. In East Lake, Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.